Well, now to the latest track of Debbie, the slow moving storm to blame for at least six deaths, including two children. It's brought heavy rain to parts of Florida, Georgia and the Carolinas and is expected to continue impacting areas in the coming days. ABC Samara Theodore has more from Charleston, South Carolina. A driver forced to give up trying to make it through a flooded road in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's something we're seeing across the southeast as Debbie slowly moves through the region. Somerville, which is just north of Charleston, has already seen more than 17 inches of rain. The storm expected to drop another 6 to 10 inches of rain in parts of the Carolinas. The city of Charleston imposed a curfew. The purpose of this curfew is to keep people off the roads and prioritize the safety of our residents and our first responders. That curfew now lifted, but seems to have worked. Police and fire say they did not have to rescue anyone overnight. In Monk's Corner, this Arby's restaurant destroyed. The tables and seats blew right out of the building. North Carolina also feeling the effects of the storm and preparing for more. Our forecasters predict tornadoes, heavy rains, flash floods, and possible storm surge that can quickly inundate low-lying areas. Along the Gulf Coast of Florida, then Hurricane Debbie causing widespread damage. Roads impassable. In Manatee County, drone video shows a stranded person being rescued from a vehicle. Hundreds of thousands of customers without power. The state's largest insurer requesting another 13% increase in insurance rates. In the Northeast, a storm system triggered severe storms and flash flooding ahead of Debbie's arrival later this week. For the first time, New York City officials using a drone to transmit emergency weather alerts. If you live in a basement or a ground floor apartment, be prepared to leave your location. New York City's Henry Hudson Parkway flooded. Rescue crews working to unclog storm drains. Meantime, in the south, Debbie's anticipated to make a second landfall in South Carolina tonight and then push inland. Flood watches have been put in place for Georgia, the Carolinas, and Virginia through Friday. Samara Theodore, ABC News, Charleston, South Carolina.